The Honorable Member for Chester Bay Rocky View, followed by Calgary Fort. Really enjoyed the uh, last performance, Mr. Speaker, I must say. Uh, contract talks, unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, we know are not going that well with Alberta teachers. And the issue isn't about money, it's about workload. Teachers are being snowed under right now in a, in a blizzard of paperwork. Does the Minister of Education recognize that this is a serious problem for today's teachers? And is he willing to help reduce the mountain of paperwork and let teachers spend time doing what they do best, and that is teaching our children? Uh, Mr. Speaker, I appreciate the question, and yes, uh, we need to make sure that we have the world's best in front of our children, and we need to make sure that they're doing the high-value tasks and they're focusing their, those skills on the things that, that are going to help our kids succeed. So we absolutely want to have uh, some discussions and dialogue, and we've got some strategies to move forward on addressing some of the workload issues with teachers. But one area that we do differ is we don't think those workload discussions should be wrapped up in, uh, in putting hard caps on the amount of minutes a teacher who's a professional a noble profession, uh, should be able to work in the classroom per day. Honourable Member. Mr. Speaker, thank you. I appreciate the honest answer from the, from the Minister. Given that uh, this PC government had no problem, though, working out a five-year contract with teachers during an election, given that the Premier had no problem finding $100 million for the uh, teaching industry during a leadership campaign, does the Minister recognize that Albertans are starting to wonder if the only time the government does what's right in education is when there are votes to be had? Mr. Speaker, I think we can all take, take exception to that. Uh, obviously, we, we're doing what's right in education today. The Premier made some uh, great promises over the last year and has delivered on them. She promised us to reinstate $107 million in the education system. She did that right away. She promised to give school boards predictable and stable funding so they could manage their business and they could make good, solid decisions. She did that. She promised to bring the Education Act forward and get that delivered. She's done that. Now what we're trying to do is get another long-term deal province-wide with teachers to put the students at the center of this thing and make sure that it's about the students. And we're not going to rush into a deal unless it's got the students at the center of the deal. Uh, we acknowledge and applaud the Education Act, Mr. Speaker. Again, to the Minister, even though this is not about money, is it hard to negotiate with teachers and work out a deal when they look at you and your government and recognize that you just voted yourselves an 8 percent raise? Well, I, I think maybe the Honourable Member should read his leader's email that was just written here a few minutes ago. It seems that they're not quite on the same page. But, Mr. Speaker, with respect to uh, negotiating with the teachers, uh, it, no, it's not easy. There's a lot of complicated issues here. Uh, and it's very simplistic to think that, uh, that one quick solution is going to get us a deal five, for four or five years across the province, dealing with 35,000 people in over 2,000 different schools, different communities, dealing with different classrooms and different kids. Uh, we're trying to recognize some of those nuances. We want to move to a system that has more and more differentiated learning can recognize the diversity in the classroom and can give teachers the supports they need for those unique kids in those classrooms.